Do you know the one thing I hate about the internet? Even if you are trying to mind your business, stuff you do not want any part of will find you. You can't run and you definitely can't hide even if you don't have data. Now, unless you've been locked up in a concentration camp and you decided to liberate yourself a few weeks ago, which I do think you chose a rubbish year to liberate yourself, you must have heard of Hush Puppy and Daddy Freeze. Apparently, Daddy Freeze visited Hush Puppy for an interview and they had dinner. And Daddy Freeze said some controversial stuff. Now, the truth about Hush Puppy is out and he's locked up as Akon's hit song, Nigerians like Shark are out for blood. Since they caught Hush, Daddy Freeze is going to be added as collateral damage. In a world of Me Too movement, cancel culture, shaming people and the Twitter mob, Daddy Freeze had to do damage control video. Two of them! Because that's how you silence the Twitter mob. You answer to their demands. The first video, well, I can say respect him for that. I always say if you get caught in something, you can either be the wolf or the sheep. He was the wolf in that video, all rough rider going hard. And it was horse shit. <laughs> it was an unusable video. The video didn't help his case. And I'm not trolling here. Look, in that video, it proved a weird point because it looks like if somebody brings a point he really can't count that he goes rogue what i mean by going rogue is that he'll probably insult the person on his financial status or just how the person looks look it's either someone's argument against you is good or it's bad if it's bad it can be debunked easily with no need to insult with a little bit of logic it could be debunked if it's good it is good no matter of insult you give it's going to change the fact that what that person said actually may have a point and it's a good argument like can you imagine if our court or any court in the world works like that your honor clearly the accuser is right has all the evidence and everything he said is actually true but your honor look at him he looks like a dead seal he has nothing in his account and he's jobless clearly we can't rule in his favor oh you're right case dismissed you see that would totally mess up what's right and what's wrong that video was so wrong that he had to make a second one the fact he had to make a second video and be all calm explain himself and read the same bible verse that he did in the first video is all the proof you need regardless of what the title of this video you may be there are some things that the free said that you cannot deny the fact that he has a point on those things at the same time a lot of what he said in the video was bullshit so i'm going to play the tape and we're going to talk about it so like a very wise man said and here we go disclaimer before we start i am going to use logic to make my case i'm not trolling i'm just going to use reasonable logic hi guys i'm daddy freeze convener of the free the sheeple movement and leader of the free nation in christ i greet you and i bring glad tidings so we're off to a good start um regarding my relationship with hush poppy and and i'm here to address it um i i shouldn't normally nope you did it because you did not have a choice either the people high up the food chain told you to do it or you knew if you did not clear the air your sponsors may distance themselves from you and um, naomi was like we don't know what his income was so i got hush puppy on the phone wow you guys are really that close that i can just speed that hush at any time oh that's cute i had an interview done with Hush Puppy, I do a lot of exclusive interviews. I've had exclusives done with Techno, with Ubi Franklin, um, with Hush Puppy, with um, Regina Daniels and her husband. And guess what? The Regina Daniels interview was done the day before the Hush Puppy interview. Yeah, he's right. But the one thing I know from watching the Regina Daniels video, you didn't have a discussion with her or with her husband about how much they pay their workers. I mean, on a normal day, do you ask everybody you interview how much they pay their workers you ask a normal person that the person is probably going to see no if you got them business boy but here yeah, you guys talked about it or you guys gloated about it anyone so i now have to babysit you and do a video to tell you about a video i've done and another video i've done and to show you what's available to you because simply you wouldn't research it. of course people don't do research anymore we're living a time where there's no time for research you just get whatever the media gives you take you for example daddy freeze if you did a little bit of research you would have known that something just isn't right with this hush puppy and you're wondering why your pastors are eating off you 
Uh, I've had people complain about this. Well, it's a joke. And to those that are saying, well, it isn't a funny joke or it's not funny. Comedy is subjective. If you don't find something funny, it doesn't mean that other people don't find it funny or it doesn't mean it isn't funny. So that's not really a point. How did I meet Hush Puppy? I went to Dubai in December 2017. Oh, we're going back to the beginning. Wow, really clearing the air here. If this doesn't say, please don't cancel me, I really didn't know. I don't know what is. He was very cool. At that point, I was going through a lot in the hands of my former friends who simply because I decided to show them stuff in the Bible that went against the teachings of their pastors, they all went against me. I was unfollowed by a, a huge volume of people. But Hush Puppy didn't unfollow me, reached out to me, hung out with me. So what you're saying is that you were very vulnerable at that time and he slid in like a pimp. Did you for once think maybe that's the reason why you didn't really look into his life? And even now, until he's proven guilty by a competent court, we, we have to sit down and wait and allow the court to do its work. Competent courts. So if the court finds him guilty, it's probably going to turn into, well, the court isn't competent, you know. But that's not my problem with your ideology here. The way you are thinking here is the same way black people were thinking on R. Kelly. He's not guilty at all. They just want to bring him down and kill his image. It was this kind of thinking that made him walk on Aliyah and the 14 year old girl. Are you saying if he's found guilty, you make a video condemning him? Really? We all, he, he, while we're driving to um, a restaurant, there was a guy in that Burberry shop who was begging Hush Puppy to come and spend 10 minutes with him in his restaurant, that he just launched a restaurant. And Hush Puppy was like, no, I can only spend five minutes. And the guy kept begging for 10 minutes. And eventually, Hush Puppy succumbed and we went to the restaurant, had a few drinks, and then went someplace else. Truth be told, this story could be legit. But the only person who can verify this story is locked up in a cell in America. And guess what? Even if he can verify this story, why would anyone believe him? He's been lying to all of us the whole time. It's not that I'm refusing to accept what you're saying. It's that we cannot ignore that fact. While we were driving, he got calls from Gucci, he got calls from Versace, he got calls from LV, all wanting to host him. And he says he's an influencer. Mm. How sure were you those people calling him were really Gucci and Versace, not his hacker friends pretending to be them? I mean, there's a possibility on that. Daddy Freeze is like, you don't want to accept the fact that you two got played. I was, he didn't get any call from any hackers he didn't get any call at least while i was there there was nothing suspicious while i was there come on man let's say i'm running a child pornography business as i said let's see and i'm going to hang out with somebody who has a radio show you honestly think i am going to show any of that to that person so the person can go and blow the whistle on me for example do anybody remember that interview r kelly had with gail did you see r kelly with any teenage girls or him tying up or beating any girls come on man daddy freeze you are a very intelligent person but i just have to be real with you you have to pick one you are either very smart or very foolish on this guy you can't be both if it's smart then you would have seen something that would have made you raise an eyebrow but you ignored it because as you said reached out to you and he's your friend all foolish for never having the thought that this guy was not legit you can't be both you have to pick one that's my job. It's my job to bring you exclusive interviews. Like I said earlier on, I've done exclusive with Tonto DK, with Toby Franklin, with even um, the lady that was a, uh, a former adult movie star. Yeah, you're right. It is your job. But singing praises of one of these people isn't your job. A lot of people say, oh, Peter was a fisherman and Paul was a tent maker. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to fish and I don't know how to make tents. And I'm not going to learn how to fish or make tents simply because I want to make you happy. Because the same you would still go out and say, ah, Daddy Freeze is hungry. He's just a fisherman, a poor fisherman, and he's insulting our geos. He has a good point there and you can't ignore it. You're asking me about his source of income? Go and watch my video recorded a year ago.
Must we discuss something twice because you're slow to understand? Wait, wait, wait. Who is slow? The people who called out his bullshit or you who, as you said, did not see his bullshit? I didn't know him to be a criminal. If I did, I wouldn't hang out with him. And unless someone is proven guilty, I do not discriminate against them. Because the one who taught me Christianity, the one who I follow, Yahushua, the Christ, who taught me through the scriptures, did not discriminate. Is that what discrimination is? Hold on. Hey, Jim! What's discrimination? What? Why do you mean Google is my friend? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Calling people what they are isn't discrimination. Like calling R. Kelly a child molester isn't discrimination. And you are of your father, the devil, is what? Is that discrimination or calling them what they are? Go with me to the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 15. Later, Levi invited Yahushua and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. There were many people of this kind among Yahushua's followers. I'm reading the New Living Translation and I'm substituting um, Yahushua for Jesus because I believe Jesus is a colonialist name. The real name of the Savior is Yahushua in Hebrew or Yeshua in Aramaic. Does it really matter which version of his name you actually use? I mean, it still gets the same result. There's still power in both of them, equal power, whether if it's his Hebrew name or his white man name. That's like opening an argument that we can't call him in our own language name. Siko, to anybody out there, if somebody reads you just a verse in the Bible, I would advise you that you should read like two verses before that particular verse to either get a full context of what the person is saying or see things properly. Because if you read from like verse 13 from what he's saying, Jesus was passing, saw Levi at the tax office and told him, follow me. So were you walking and you saw Hush Puppy and you told him to follow you, let's go and get the interview. Or you didn't go down like that. Which one is it? Because I know in this context, you're supposed to be Jesus. So did you go down like in the Bible or your own way he called you instead? Hmm? Hey, I'm not the one who brought Bible into this. You did. Do not condone crime and I never will. But also, I don't discriminate against people who reach out to me. Because let's remember, Christ said he didn't come for the healthy, but for the unhealthy. The unhealthy are the ones who need me. At the dinner table that day, were making jokes. And if you followed me on the radio, on social media, on YouTube, those are my kind of jokes. And they're meant for my audience. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, unfollow block whatever it is you feel comfortable doing but that is the type of humor i have and it wasn't dedicated don't 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 misrepresent this it wasn't dedicated to hard-working nigerians who are earning 35k or 20k struggling to make a living it was dedicated to the haters the trolls the person who trolled my little son on social media was a git man more or less these are the people who trolls. I'm not, I'm not trolling hardworking people who are earning um, money for their effort. No, I'm trolling you who in real life, you're really nothing. But because you've got the opportunity to have a smartphone, you can come and chat all sorts of rubbish. Yeah, you have a point. But you still can't talk down on them even if you are going to point them as nothing. They are making an honest living by not doing anything, unlike your homeboy. By God and by state, they are morally just than your homeboy. Boy, the people you are considering them as nothing could see past his bullshit and you couldn't. So you still can't call them nothing. Plus, you calling them nothing, isn't that some levels of discrimination? Who in real life, you're really nothing, but because you've got the opportunity to have a smartphone, you can come and chat all sorts of rubbish. I'm just asking here, okay? If you're a grown man and you're trolling a little boy, you are a bastard. And your internet should be taken away from you for at least two years. But I agree with him on the smartphone part. I always say I miss the days that internet was expensive. It was very hard back then to find people with daft opinions. I've been trolled, Hush Puppy was trolled too, and we had that in common, so we spoke out about it. Boo hoo! Poor Daddy Freeze, he has been trolled. That is not a price for having an opinion. 
that is a price for putting out your opinion for people to see see in this life even though you try to live your life as a just person everybody's an asshole to somebody you don't need to give people any reason for them to think you're an asshole being tall fine or even a good person will make you an asshole to somebody out there whoever you are there's somebody out there in this world who thinks you're an asshole on top of all of that you put your opinion out there and somehow expect not to get trolled really and I'm here to clarify that if you're a hardworking Nigerian, minding your own business, staying in your own lane, I wasn't talking to you. But if you're one of those people jumping on and off my uh, timeline, it's very easy. The trend will end on Twitter. Max 48 hours. Then you'll come to my page and you know what I'll do with you? I'll make a donkey out of you all day every day. That may be true to your fans, but do you know who made a donkey out of you? Your homeboy. Hush puppy. The fact you couldn't even say ass in this your video is more reason for me to believe this is something you had to do because you had no choice. Your first video was free and more of you. This video really isn't. I don't believe I owed anybody this because there's video evidence out there. I just needed you to sit down and patch everything together and to make sense to you. Yeah, you did. Two videos. Yeah, you did. And it is my job to get you talking. And I do that very well. I got you talking, didn't I? Yep, he's right. He did get people talking. But having people to talk or getting people to talk doesn't mean you have control of what they are actually going to say back. So that's the video. I don't really think I have much to add to it. I doubt this video will go anywhere. But if it does and DF sees this, this is an open dialogue, not trolling. It's either my arguments are good or bad like i said if it's bad it can be debunked so easily if it's good it's only logic that is going to counter it not how i sound financial backing or my subscribers on my channel it's either good with points or bad with no points i'm not going to behave like some 12 year old in call of duty trolling we are not going to do that we are better than that so that's the video if you guys like what you see please subscribe to this channel leave a comment on what you think of all of this and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Stay diamond, people.